Okay, good morning everyone. Let's full start our lesson two. Today lesson will go through LO2, which is about be able to prepare company's financial statement. My name is Anjum Sathar and my email address anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Please, if you have any question, drop me email on my email address. So let's full start. Uh, before starting today lesson, uh, we recap what we learned during our last lesson. Anything you remember from last lesson, please? What we think, what we learned during our last lesson? We, we learned last lesson regarding the sole trader and partnership, how to prepare the uh, financial statement. And sole trader, we learn about partnership. Partnership, yeah. We, I mentioned your limited company. I mentioned your charity, yes? Do we remember the Partnership Act? Which year was? I think 19, uh, UK, uh, UK is 1906, I think. No? 1890, yes. Yeah. Company 206 and the charity 2011. Yes. 2011, yeah. We discussed IES. What is IES? Uh, International Accounting Standard. Excellent. We discussed IFRS. Uh, what is what is uh, charity act? Uh, uh, Twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. Eh? Two thousand eleven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we discuss IFRS International Financial Reporting, Financial reporting System. We discuss about how many types of statement we prepare. The four type of statement. Income okay. statement. Statement Bank. of chain. A comprehensive income SOC SOFP statement of yeah. financial position, position statement of cash flow yeah. statement and of chain equity yes yeah, chain equity. so these are all statements under IES one we prepare for limited company okay yes we discussed key things these were in last lesson we discussed about partnerships sole trader types of accounts and different advantages disadvantages today lesson we move forward our l2 which is about more about limited company mm -hmm. so scale 1 to 10 what we know about financial statement limited company and end of year adjustments yeah 7 8 7 8 okay good so seven eight is good. Well done. Okay. So today lesson indicative content. What we supposed to be learned preparation of financial statements for limited companies. Main elements of private limited company annual account income statement financial position public limited companies annual report general corporate information accounting policies and all uh, which is normally notes we need to provide to. Uh, all the financial planning, what these companies really thinking about to do in future, and the period and uh, end, end of period adjustment, which we'll discuss, year end adjustment, which we need to, different types of errors, corrections, accounting concept, and qualitative characteristic are the financial qualities need to be in a financial statement. Okay, so last lesson we use one keyword under IS1 true and fair. Yes, the financial information yes. should be true and true fair. And, and thus we need to provide to our, okay. So the nature of limited company, a limited company give owner limited liability. The owner liability is limited to the amount they have paid into the shares. Yeah. So yeah. if the company become insolvent, the maximum amount, the owner lose the amount of the capital they have invested in the company. That's why if you go to borrow the money on the company's name, if the company's credit scoring not good, so it's a difficult to get the credit. Mm -hmm. Especially now bounce back loan, yes? Yeah. Lot of people got 50,000 bounce back loan. Those are on the limited company. They have a limited liabilities, yes? Yeah. And those that they got on the individual name, even the government can claim their personal asset. Yes. 
so that is more risky than so we need to be very careful and we can advise our clients okay limited company may be owned managed by different people limited company are owned by the shareholder shareholder appoint the directors and they may be large amount of shareholders the purpose of financial statement is provide the financial performance out those are outside the business yes they are of company act 2006 which we discuss okay do we remember if we want to be limit registered as a limited company how much investment we require public limited company i think minimum is 50000 pound uh yes yeah, 50000 pound is required minimum to be okay then then we can look around if we have a more than 50 employees and the asset is is it 3.2 million and we required to do audit uh? the audit requirements as well so according to the company we carry on changing as well so it's good better to look okay the accounts of the limited company uh sole trader uh, sorry is the statement of profit and loss or we call statement of comprehensive income so revenue come first cost of sales gross profit other expenses yes that can be we can lay out as a shareholder and and the next you know i gave uh, what is the difference between uh, profit and loss account and comprehensive income sorry what is the difference between yeah other comprehensive income and the uh, profit and loss account because we, if, uh, it's so the we use the profit and loss account but in, it's the same uh, is the same thing statement of comprehensive income and the statement of profit and loss there is a no difference okay Okay, so <clears throat> that's you know we need to be look around. So these are the performance, yes. So we can use, of course, you already well aware of in Sage and various other. We can create, you know, yes, financial statement. All we need to really based on the nominal code. Huh? Okay, so this is about the balance sheet or statement of financial. So this we call. Okay, third. <clears throat> conceptual framework or we call qualitative characteristic in the financial statement what quality all relevant information we need to be show in the financial statement yes and faithful representation all the is, is these quality these are the two basic and four enhance complete information neutral information and free from error materiality concept mean significant if you carry on missing transaction 10 pound 10 pound that become a material as well it become millions yes so we should provide it if if you miss 10 pound just only maybe that's not a material that's not influence on the uh, uh the user on the their decision making uh, the information so we need to be make sure we not miss the transaction those are material at least uh, Okay, enhancing qualitative characteristic comparability. Information need to be comparable. Yes, last year, this year, we should provide two years. Verifiability, what we are saying, we can verify. We saying window 98, we have CDs, we have stock, asset, we own it. It should be in our warehouse. It should be our name. Yes, we possess it, we control it, we can modify it, it's our asset. Okay, timeline, <clears throat> understandability understandability is mean that those information asset goes under under asset so those people have accounting knowledge they can understand timeline of course you know within 90 days we'll publish the information any question anyone no okay hope so everyone hear me now uh, yes i think so most of you can hear okay let's please next we have our accounting policies always we need to give the notes yes yeah. we have to look around the policies casting policies what we use all you know we can give if we especially in the public limited company huh? the requirement as well 
IS 16. Do we know IS 16? International Accounting Standard 16. Property Plant and Equipment. Sorry? Property Plant and Equipment. Excellent. Yes, Property Plant and Equipment, Depreciation Method. Last lesson we mentioned a bit. Yes, IS 2. IS 2 is about inventory. Inventory always we record lower the cost or net realizable value. Like I quoted example last lesson is about um, window 98 CDs. Yeah, maybe we bought it 200 pound each, but no one is willing to buy now 200 pound each. No should should be record. Maybe now people are still willing to buy in 10 pound. Yes. Yeah. Our five pound CD, so we should record five pound not at the cost what we bought it. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we should other rest we'll put in as expense in our profit and loss. Hmm. Okay, so that's one notes of financial statement. Ah, uh, yes, that's what we discussed. <clears throat> okay, going concern. Always we need to give the views about the going concern. Yeah, if the company not going concern, we should declare it. Accrual basis. What is accrual basis? Do we know all? The accrual basis means uh, when a transaction, you know, I forget it. Okay. Accrual basis means we should record all the transactions, those are related to that period, not basis of the cash. Okay. Like BFS, they're selling now and they're receiving the cash in five years. So they should record sale this year. Yes? Mm -hmm. Cash can be. So this year sales goes in the where profit. So that's why sometimes people carry on credit sale included to increase their sales value to attract people. Yes, attract investors. Yeah. But actually accrual base is meant by only sales and and the expenses as well. Yes, like you pay insurance advance for three years. So insurance is not expense yet. Only the months gone are those that belong to this period. We should record it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Other will go that the accrual are prepaid. Huh? Okay, materiality as we discuss significant. Yes. So if yeah. you not care about ten, 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 that become a material as well. Offset. Yes. So we need to. We should around what we should include everything. If the standard not allow us offset the things, we should show in the Financial statement. Financial statement. Mm. Just one sec. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Now we can hear everyone. If you can't hear me, please, uh, you need to check your mic. Huh? Okay, I, I yes, I can hear most of you, but maybe okay. So if you have a questions, if you can hear me, if you have a question, you can chat, please. Huh? Maybe the problem is something on your mic. Huh? Okay, let's please. Next, we discuss about going concern. We discuss consistencies in presentation. We need to. Okay, so next, our element of discussion is the basic rules. Yes. Depreciatable amount and residual value. Do we know what is the difference between them? Residual yes, value. Sorry. Residual the value is end of the year, the sell base value. And depreciation every year, the, you know, we charge on the life. Yes, so depreciation is mean the, okay, the residual value end of the uh, end of the asset as a scrap value. So, residual 
value means yes scrap value or we can end of the life of the asset is our value that's it okay do we know the definition of assets asset is a resource at uh, you know Definition. Anything, anything we own it, anything has economics value, then we can call, which are right due to the past events, yes? Yeah. Liability is a legal obligation, equity is the owner interest, income is increased the economic benefit, Ex expenses reduce the economic benefit, contribution is mean investment from, and the distribution to the owner decrease the equity, yeah? Or drawing, you know, two directors and things. Okay, so that's all about is, under these are the key terms some people just say anything you own it is asset no anything has the economics value is asset or which flow the future economic benefit to company if you have a broken chair is not anymore in asset yes mm -hmm. you own it cds but no one is willing to buy it what is the economics value of it they will give us any benefit or even if they are uh, they are in, incurring as expenditures because we holding is a holding cost involved in it Yes, so that's we need to be off the balance sheet. We don't need to keep it to show people we have won the asset. Okay, then assets equal liability plus equity. Do we know accounting equation? Yes? Yeah, asset equal to liability. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Welcome. You can hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I think it was a problem with the comms. I think our, on our, my network was not very okay. It was not stable. No problem. That's that's fine. No, any question you have, whatever you hear up to now. No, no, no. I'm I'm able to hear everything, but I couldn't contribute anything. Uh, no, no problem. That's fine. Sorry, it's it's a technology. Yeah? Sometimes yeah, it's no, not. No, no, no. can go ahead. Okay, brilliant. No problem. Thank you. So we are discussing about accounting equation. Do we know accounting equation? Yes. Yeah, we do understand the accounting equation. Yes. What is? Uh, it's our assets uh, plus our equity equals to our liabilities. Excellent. So accounting equation is equal to assets equal to liabilities plus equity. If we say asset minus liabilities equal to net asset and net asset figures always equal to capital C. Yes. And the recognition of accounting equation, of course, profit always will go to the part of capital, which we know already. So the next we have mating elements of financial statement. Okay, that's, you know, sometimes people are struggling. Historical cost, yes? You yes, know, like in, the known, like in the known current asset register, you carry on showing asset on the historical cost when you bought it, the asset, yes? Then you carry on showing accumulated depreciation. Then you carry on showing this year depreciation, yes? Mm -hmm. So even some people want to show the current cost or the, what is the re resaleable value? What is the present value of the asset which we, we can sell it? Huh? So that's, you know, is different. We know the NBV, net book value. We know the carrying value, yes? Mm -hmm. So, which is, we can even show, of course, we can show our asset value in the balance sheet based on the carrying value. Huh? Taking out, are some people carry on showing the depreciation separate yes, as a provision and then carry on making it adjustment when they sell it, when they dispose of asset. That's why disposal accounts. Huh? Then they can find how much is a gain there to pay the capital gain tax. Huh? Okay, next we have a, a cost model. What is the cost model? The asset historical cost, yes. Then can be revaluation, and we can use revaluation method. Well, we have a standard for here as well. Fair value, what is the fair value? Do we know what is meant by fair value? Fair value is the market value, yeah. Excellent, market value, fair value is the market value. Carrying value means the carrying value is the current value. Yes? Yeah. What we are currently holding. Always these are quite crucial, you know, the things we need to, and especially 
keeping in view of the standards so we'll tell some people are very creative here huh? they use the creative accounting standard carry on coming huh? under and our stated things huh? that's the play playing area sometime okay depreciation we discuss different depreciation method we can use it state line yes yeah uh, reducing balance method yes even the use okay then we have a disposal we can dispose of asset we need to be file we follow the standard and recognition criteria yes we're not going to and they fail any question please you can ask okay next we have cash flow statement of cash flow do we know i think so a couple of you already mentioned last lesson as well how many activities we have three activities three activities uh, yes investing and financial activities excellent and under is 7 we look around all in and out cash flows uh, under all these three activities and there are the two methods we can use it direct and direct Basically, the, it's, the, it's not a really big difference, huh? just the layout. So the format of the financial statement preferred for only the things where the cash involved. So depreciation is a known cash expense, so that's why we're adding it back. Adding back yeah. And the operating activity, then we have financing and investing, yes. So we'll do, and all your total net cash will be equal to our cash position which is given in the balance sheet this is all we are reconciling another way huh? okay any question we are okay next we cash from operating activities all been explained so if you have a question you can ask uh, but normally we use useful of the financial statement advantage uh, one thing i have a question about the uh, uh, you know i that just want to find out yes sure Hello. Hello. Yes, 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 please. Can I can, can I ask? Get, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I just want to, wanted to find out on the treatment of uh, of tax payments uh, to in the cash flow. Uh, are we supposed to treat it as uh, a cash movement, or how do we treat it, or we just yes, leave it? Yes, cash, cash cash movement under the operating activities. Huh? Here. So. Okay. Thank you. What we need to be only you need to show let's say you've been given the last year tax liability in the statement of financial position you have this year tax last year tax plus this year tax liability and what is end of this year tax liability you've been given in the balance sheet under the current years huh? so if you take the difference so you put on the credit side last year this year tax liability and what is you have end of this year left to pay and whatever the difference we have, that means you already paid it. Huh? Okay. Which we need to include here. Okay. Uh, yes, sorry. What else, you know? I think so you are, you want yeah. to ask? Yeah, you know, the, on the, in the cash flow statement, uh, I saw that the one, one, one example is you know, interest expenses. It's, yes. They uh, add in the operating activities. And the yes. same thing they did in the did in the um, investing activities. So a little bit I have a confusion. Okay, no, no problem. I'll explain. You know the investing activities. Mm -hmm. Interest received is only come under investing activities. When you receive interest, if you have invested money in other companies or in other saving accounts, yeah. Yeah. So that's not come under the operating activities. First of all. Okay, then if you're talking about the under the financing activity, loan come under financing activities. Mm. But because you know, the interest is your every year you have to pay is come under the current liabilities. Mm -hmm. And the current liabilities come under the operating activity within one operating year. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we include under the under the operating activity instead of under the financing activity okay yes that's only the logic huh? because you will see here fine this is called finance cost as well huh? yeah yeah they, they put under the investing activities under uh, state under uh, 
the financial activities i think sorry finance cost i think yes finance cost yes or you can call interest huh? because yeah. you know when we prepare the profit and loss we already minus it to cash generated by operation so we add it back there huh? mm-hmm. and then yeah. we here so net effect will be zero in other way okay Okay, that's next now. Uh, interpreting cash flows. Yes, we can interpret and you can make the decision. Then we have a recoverable bad debts. Do you know the bad debts? Yeah. And we know the bad debts, you know, the uh, rules uh, on VAT, how long, you know, we need to stay on the bad debts and then we can claim back. 90 days. Uh, no, six months. Huh? So if your bad debt is six months old, yeah, then the whatever the VAT you can claim back from HMRC. Yeah? That's the that's the playing area some some people play it, huh? Yeah. Which is can be checked. Okay, so that's we can look around. Okay, then we have accrual and prepayments. That's other area sometimes people are struggling. Huh? Okay, I included here. If you have a first place, let's say expense yes mm-hmm. so what is meant by accrual expense the accrual expense mean expense happened but we not paid it yes no uh, uh, char- uh, sorry expenses had charged but uh, still not paid uh, still not recorded yes yeah no still... it's recorded but not paid yet uh, yes yes so it mean is a liability still huh? yeah so let's say uh, we Worker provide us services, yes, wages, but we not paid them wages yet, yes? Yeah. So we do the wages, that's, you know, debit and credit, huh? yeah. so accrual. Yeah. So we should, if that related to that period, we should include it. Huh? If the prepaid, so first place we record as expense debit, and we record it cash, yeah. We can we can cash credit, yes. But when because that wasn't that related to this period, so what we need to do, we do credit our expense now, which mean we are reducing our expense and we debit our prepaid. prepaid. What is the prepaid? Prepaid is a advance paid. Yes. So that's you know we have any question? So accrual expenses, suppose uh, you told about the uh, OEGs. So the company um, company um, reporting date is 31st of December, and mm. then uh, company um, employees um, OEGs date is the 1st of January. So that means within the 31st December, so they make a uh, OEGs sheet, that means salary sheet. So that time we have to do like OEGs debit so to accrual this is correct and yes, actually whatever let's say you know we paid salary on the first January mm-hmm. yes our accounting accounts need to be closed on the 31st December. Yeah. so we not paid on the 31st December but we yes. should record in the profit and loss oh, account debit no. our expense and we should record as a liability in the financial position yes so the, yeah the journal entry will be the OISIS debit then we have to get it uh, actual actual expenses ex, actual wages so when it is paid that means actual expenses uh, wages will be debit then the cash will go so that means the cash credit is correct oh, sorry which one we are looking we looking prepaid or are we looking accrual no accrual no accrual meant by you got the service you not paid yet you have a liability so what will do the um, company Company should record as a company accounting for... your closing is 31st of December. Yes. And company pay the um, um... doesn't matter. We we don't do accounts on the paid. That's a accrual basis meant by you should record income and expenses when happened. Doesn't matter, not when paid. We don't do the cash accounting. Huh? Okay. Okay. Cash accounting cash only will be reduced when you paid it, yes. Mm-hmm. Actual paid it. So when you reduce your cash, you do the credit your cash, yes. Mm-hmm. 
and you do the debit your liability because you're settling the liability. That that, that journal entry will be that that day we pay. That will be not this year. That will be the next year maybe. Next year. That's what I'm saying. And the, oh, the, yeah. this year the closing uh, uh, accounting period it will be the accrual credit and wages debit. It's yeah. Correct. You're, you're right. Yeah. You're right. It's fine. Sorry, uh, maybe I'm I'm not get first place. Huh? No, no, it's fine. Okay, so that that's you know the way. And uh, if in case of prepaid, because actual transaction first place, we record the debit expense, credit, or cash. When we check it, no, that's the expense we paid it for the next year. So we reduce our expense for this year and we'll increase our prepaid because the prepaid is the asset. Yes, mm -hmm. like car insurance. Huh? Example of it. Okay, this is some people yeah. struggling. So this is accrual and prepayment for expenses. And next slide will show uh, you accrual and prepayment. This is accrual and prepayment for income huh? in case of income. So you will see the opposite here yeah? than expense. Yeah. Accrual income, increase our income, yes, and mm -hmm. increase our asset. Huh? And prepaid decrease our income and increase our liability because the prepaid mean we receive advance in yeah. case of income. We not provide the services yet. Huh? Okay, when you deal it, always draw the timeline. Yes, look around. Yes, is it prepaid or not? That will help us. Okay, I gave it the summary of accrual and prepayment. Yes, that will help you. Is it what is about? Is the liability? Is it expense? Is which statement goes? and where goes a uh, debit or credit okay i copied the link for you this one to prepare the cash flows and various other statement you can copy depends upon the flash you know the uh, it's called the uh, otherwise it won't work because normally we use in a t qualification this link yes if not and this is if you want to play with it it's not compulsory yeah? This is sort of assessment you can try if you want to. Okay, next now, uh, I'll go back. Uh, and the next we included types of error. Do we know errors? Yes. That's in accounting is a high opening. Huh? That's we need to be. Error of original entry, reversal errors, and the error of principles. Mm -hmm. Like you paying, you saying, you know, is expense, motor expense, but actually motor car, you bought it. Yeah. It should be asset. Asset goes in balance sheet. Expense goes in the profit and loss. Profit and this, this can be easily in you know, a gray area. So your company policy, you can capitalize it. Capital and revenue expenses, you can cluster it. Huh? Error of commission. Yes, are we called subsidiary? Maybe the wrong person's name you put it. Huh? Are the wrong companies? Uh, maybe the duplicate errors can be accounts, balances incorrectly. Transfer to the trial balance can be so we need to make adjustments. Huh? Look what your original entry was, and you can make adjustments. Yes, and always we need to correcting error, correspondence error. Yes, so especially otherwise we can create it. Do we know we can create it uh, suspense account? Yes, we all know suspense account. Yes, yes, yeah. okay. Uh, of course, we're not doing here any numerical thing. But I hope so you already know, yes? Making adjustment. You look always what you done originally and what you need to reverse it. Huh? Mm -hmm. So if you if you done one side it right in the previous quarter or previously, other side you missed it, now you can create the suspense account. Huh? One side yeah. to make the correction. Okay, then... This is also some adjustment. I copied the link so you can play with it. Yes. Okay, guys. Next, uh, I included some links to look around the financial statements with the accounting policies. As do, we discussed at the top, you can copy the link. Yes. You can look uh, around. Uh, so, will you keep this on in the uh, Moodle? Yes, yes. These will stay on the Moodle. Huh? Okay. Then I'll check it. Uh, yes, you can, you know, from. Okay, then next we have, uh, I created a quiz for you. You want to play? Yes? Yes. I'm, I'm not sure you played the Kahoot before or not. Huh? 
Okay, so what I'll do, I'll play from here, yes? And you have to, you have to write Google search Kahoot it, and I'll give you the pin number. Uh, just one second, I'll, uh, even in the chat, I can copy the link for you. What is the name? Kahoot it, eh? uh, Yes, I, I can, I can copy the link for you in chat, so you can click it and you can start. Huh? Can you see? Yes. This is the pin number. Uh, yes. First, you need to type it kahoot dot it. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, it's my chat box here. So yes, this is if you click the kahoot dot it and then you enter the pin number, please. That's a little play. Yes. And uh, then you enter your name. If we can so in one window on this one you will see the question on your next window you have to click your four color will display on your end red green amber and can we one more color and you need to pick it the right one which one is the right or wrong huh? have you managed I write it, I didn't. No, Google search, yes, at the top, you know, this login button, yes. Type it like kahoot it, like here, copy, yes, and in the search button here, you will see there my next window. Kahoot. Yes, this this one will show, yes, and then you need to enter the pin number, which is, yes, can you see now? I'm checking. Kahoot so, dot it, yeah? Yes, Kahoot dot it, which I copied here, link for you as well, you can copy and paste it like, you see here, this, this sort of button will, and then you enter the pin number, then ask your name. It's not going to. Okay, I'll check it later on this one. I'll write down on my. Oh, okay. You, we, 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 I was thinking to just let's play, you know. We can play live this Kahoot. Huh? You know, in chat box, I copied the link for you. Can you see? Yes. Uh, Are you on w mobile? W no, I'm in desktop. So then it's just, just the next, you know, the search window, like you see mine, yes? Type yes. in the, in the toolbar, yes, that's this, that's display, then enter the pin number. Like here, copy so the I pin. Don't need, I don't need to write down anything in the game pin, only uh, pin number. Yes, for, yes, after this only the pin number, this and then nickname, your name, yes. Let's say I'm, I'm playing, now my name will display here. Yes, you will see, exactly your will display when you use. You are in, so you need uh, Yes, are you there, Almin, are you there? Hello. Other my friend, do you want to join? Yes. Hello. I'm on mode, but I'm on mode, but I can't join. Uh, okay, no problem. You can let's participate. You know, by looking the question. No problem. You can chat even. Let's please. We'll go through. Is just you know for the sake of which we'll try maybe next lesson. Yes, please. So, f which element is not elements of in the financial statement? What do you think? So, uh, I didn't get this question. You have to, you have to look around the question. You have four color like next window. Yes, this yeah. part. Of. Okay, we missed. Huh? 
the verifiability won't show in the financial statements yes this is a quality of financial statements mm -hmm. okay next now let's try uh, this one too don't worry what is amortization must be goes under the intangible asset right or wrong so you have two colors in the next window showing uh, like here oh. it's showing so you have to pick the right you have to pick the color you said for suppose uh, I said true. So you have to tick na your red. Uh, yes. It's not. Sorry. Amortization must be charged on all intangible. It's not intangible just. Huh? It can be other asset, tangible, not intangible only. Okay, next please. IS2 stand for what? IS2 for inventories. Yes, so you need to pick the color for yes. Yes, good. Now we we getting the yes, you will see there. Yes. Okay, next. I ah, yes impairment asset. What is the impairment? Impairment asset IS thirty six. Okay, so we have to click which color is and which standard is it? Impairment of assets is sixteen. No, 36. Uh, it's a 36 is IS. IS 16 is a property plant equipment depreciation stuff. Huh? 36 is impairment. Okay. Next now, which of the following statement is correct? Is it equal to equity plus liability? This is the first one is correct. Okay, so you pick it. Pick it. Yes. So we said right. Okay, next. Which of the following statement is correct? Profit or loss equal to asset plus income. Income equal to expense. Profit or loss. Profit or loss. Income minus expenses. Expenses income plus profit or loss. Number three. income minus. Expenses profit or uh, loss equal to income minus expenses. Uh, yes, we miss everyone. We not give answer in a time, huh? Okay, oh, sorry. it is a time mark. I, I, okay. I don't know. No, no, no. It's okay. You know, this clock is running. Huh? The fundamental it's characteristic of financial statements, which one is relevance? Uh, like, yes, you pick, you know. Which one with relevance? Yes. Other are the enhanced one. Huh? Okay, good. Next, last exemptions. Yes. Which one? Is it going concern? Accrual. Accrual basis. Accrual. Accrual basis. Accrual. So we should pick accrual. Uh, uh, mistake, not accrual. Going concern. Accrual. Yes. Accrual. Other is accounting principles. Huh? Exemption. This is we are assuming the company is a going concern. Huh? Okay, that's all. You know, no worries. Huh? So now we can say how many. Yes, this is quite good. You can play in your own. You can set up. Yes, if you want here with the between your yes team members, so you can. Okay good so that's the way you know we need to play okay well done so today lesson we discuss about financial statements we learn about how we can prepare and key exemptions and errors and i i gave you all the links and pieces and plus i'm going to upload this handout i'll ask you know raman to upload there are the financial statement with end of year adjustment within handouts yes yeah. so if you if you want to yourself play it you can you are working in accounts we already know huh? no so, i'm working for the account so i have a little bit problem <laughs> uh, no no don't worry that in that case you know if you want to go through some question you can huh? so those um, will I, help uh, out of this uh, class today i have something to ask you um yeah, no no problem that's fine okay so that's, no problem that's fine 
so guys that's all you know today lesson if any question anyone you can ask and i hope you know speak you all during our next lesson when we go to lo3 in between you have any question drop email anjumatuniversity.co.uk thanks for listening and attending thank you bye bye